Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. Oh, this is part 113. Yeah, 113 one, one, of my Let's Play. And we are back here. And we actually found the stuff to bring to Forge. So that good. And now we're going to the bio. Bio. Bio place to see what they got it say. <sighs> oh, I'm on the opposite side. Help! <laughs> I've been trapped. Thank you. Okay. Biolab. Nice green plantry. <gasps> Ooh. Dr. Holdren's Synth Gorilla project is showing promising results. Oh, I thought it was a giant TV. <laughs> Three levels of approval. Do you believe that? Hey there. Three. Everyone's excited about the new synth project. Interesting. Really shiny. Right, right. There we go. I'm watching TV. <laughs> uh, okay, who the guy I have to talk to? Ah, maybe over here. Director Holdren seems very taken with you. Doc. Welcome. Clayton. So good to have you here. Hey, Clayton. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. What, what? Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our mm -hmm. most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Mm -hmm. The gorillas aren't well. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, We've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. Oh. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Uh, would I fit in down here though? Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. From what I've heard, you are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. In any case, yeah. I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Yes. Uh... About the gorillas. About those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. Sound they like a destroyed gorilla. destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Okay. Hey, I wasn't done talking Clayton. to you, Clayton. Something I can do for you? Uh, yes. Medical care. You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll hmm. promise you that. Dr. Later. Holdren, we ain't done yet. see you again. Did you need something? No, do you need Is anything? There anything I can do to help out? I think Dr. Carlin was looking for help with one of his experiments. You should talk to him. Oh. Are Most you Dr. Men Carlin? Like the patients to observe and document plant growth. Hi, Doc. Well, well, if it isn't our visitor from the past. Some time ago, we covertly replaced the family patriarch at Warwick Homestead with a synth. He's been field testing a variety of genetically modified seeds that I created. Take this packet of seeds to the Roger Warwick synth. Be careful with these. They represent years of genetic manipulation and enhancement. Hopefully you can manage such a simple task. Seeds for what? Seeds if for I can what? ask. A melon plant that will, if my calculations are correct, be able to grow even in heavily irradiated soil. 
Hmm. The fruited bears will be perfectly healthy and edible. Or so I hope. Well, so. Now listen closely, because this next part is vitally important. When Roger asks how your trip was, tell him some blood bugs chased you halfway across the Commonwealth. That code phrase will identify you as an agent of the Institute. Also, you must be discreet. Do nothing to draw attention to yourself or raise suspicion. Synth... Ka compromise? And if your synth has been compromised? Then you'll have to improvise. You seem clever. I'm sure you'll manage. Now hurry on to Warwick Homestead so we can begin the experiment. Well, like Homestead, I haven't been there yet. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. Well, this don't seem like that bad. Can we destroy the rest of the Institute and just leave these people to work with their plants? And gorillas? That'd be great. Do? Do? I don't know where to go. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go back to the data. Let's see, we got give hollow tape to storages. Okay, we do that later. Talk to father. Okay, let's go talk to father. I was expecting the door to just open up automatically for some reason. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, oh. Been recording a lot, my jaw is starting to get hoarding. <laughs> okay. He is up. How do I go up there? I always hated the Institute. Could never figure out the, like, the way around. I always get lost and I always Sir, end up walking in circles. Situation. A code red. Hey. Where is he? Is he up here? Ah! We actually now found him. You've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand. What do you think? I hate it. Right away, sir. Eh, can first I first. How do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner here. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting mm. to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe <coughs> for chaos. Oh, excuse me. Uh, proper supervision? Destroy them? Uh, uh, I wasn't listening. I was halfway listening. So Go with like every other wonder gizmo ever invented. When will you eggheads learn? Have faith. <laughs> Let me show you how we deal with such problems. I like that. That one's not bad. has taken over the Raider gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased. And his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that sin. Memory race, kill it, sarcastic. Sure. We'll just fight our way through an army of homicidal maniacs and ask this synth to come on home. I didn't say it would be easy. But I'm confident Straight. that with a courser at your side, you'll have no trouble. Now you should get moving. Cool. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Okay, so we got to the courser. Can I still talk to you? Sean, you should get going. There's no time to waste. But first, face. My face attacked you, not but Okay, well. Okay, so we gotta go to the glowing sea still. Let's see, where else do we gotta go? We can go there, we can talk to him. Go there, okay, that the, that be for the seas. 
That is, no, that for the seeds. That is for... Oh yeah, this is for... Taking out the castle. So I guess we go to Fogo place first. Give him that serum. How did you know I was going to be here? <laughs> Just leave the death car alone and it leave me alone. Okay, we in Fogel Place. Hello. Fogel. Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. Was it supposed to? Should it have? It to? No, of course not. <laughs> it was far more likely that it would just blow up. Okay. But it didn't. You made it in. Were you able to find the serum? E yes. Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What are you looking for? Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences Whoa, look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. How are you going to test it? On myself, of course. That was the plan. This serum will only huh. counteract the specific strain of FEV that I infected myself with. There's no telling what it might do to anyone else. <laughs> no, we wait. How For how long? long? Take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Let me a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. You're welcome. Hope it works out. Can I take your stuff yet now? No. Of course you. Now then, we come back later. Do do. Hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> and get into the pit boy real quick. Now let's go meet up with Dodgers. We can go ahead and give him the hollow tape. <sighs> the boss idol is the answer to the age-old question. Would it be fun to walk around and shoot people with a portable naval cannon? Yes, it would. They look awkward to hold though. And where do you even find cannonballs? <laughs> Seems like everyone wanted to talk right now. Hmm. That Piper. I don't know. I go eventually. Oh, you inside. Any caps for me? Ten. Ten caps. That ain't the best. What's up? Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging Oops. into this and see if I, I the can microphone. make heads or tails. <laughs> Expectation. What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. Okay. 
And we gotta level up from all that too. Dressed up like a scientist there, I see. Yeah. Deacon disliked that. Why did you What's dislike that? Why did you... <laughs> okay then. Hmm. Why did we take left belly? Huh. Let go with another length of science. Okay. Well, that is done. So now where? Uh, we can either walk all the way over there. Uh, from there to here to there. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. <laughs> I mean, we did some walk. We got Ashley to the Institute. So let's see. Destroy the rogue robot. No, that's for the old stuff. Long time coming. We haven't did the Abenati farm yet? I kinda don't want to do that one yet. What about the Fault Tech one? We haven't did that one yet. Oh, that way down there. Well that, will that be on the way? We can do Fault Tech and then we can go to there. Uh, trying to think which one be the best place to go to. I go to somewhere with village. Hmm. Okay, we have Summer Village. What is that? Nervous, but I don't think we're alone. Really? What makes you say that? I know Red Suit. You're one of those people who lives underground. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Let go this way. Into the fault. <sighs> just looking at this won't make you just want to shiver. <laughs> ah! 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 That was a lot deeper than what, us, what I was expecting. Maybe trudging through the Swamp wasn't that bad, isn't that bad, huh? I mean, wasn't the smartest idea. Ooh. Good thing I pulled out my pit boy. Just some vertebras. Well, I'm still good with the Brotherhood of Steel, I think, so that shouldn't be no worry to us yet. <sighs> Don't want to loot just yet. <laughs> Oh, I think we've been there. That place bad. Yeah. Dang it, I wasn't expecting you to pop up. I just wanted to discover the location so we can fast travel there if needed to be. 
That school with all the pink mush. I wonder what the photobots are doing up there. Oh no. There we go. We are close to the farm. Hello there, Raider. Happy didn't decide to throw that Molotov. Ooh, that was a fatal survival. Yeah, they're a little bit tougher. You don't take that jet. That jet is bad for you. Loading up a critical. Huh. Nice. Oh, Deacon like that. <laughs> is this where the fault is, White Hail? Or is this a way of camp next to the vault. Oh no, the way to camp is the vault. Why the rats? I can too. Unless the rat kill me. Why the super mutants here too? Well, that a way to do it. <laughs> That was a good hit. Did, did you have anything special on you? No, you're just a special person.
Oh. About time you decided to show up, Brotherhood. After we almost already took in most of the people out. What a bad. What a bad. What a bad. Mm. Okay, into fault 88. Whew. What an entrance. If there are people alive in here, I'd be surprised. Like, nice people, not raiders. I wouldn't be surprised if Raiders are in here. Cease at once. Cease at once? The Never! The doors were meant to withstand a direct nuclear strike. Your attempt... Now, right away, ten pack. Stop. Oh, I like the idea of it being me, not you. <laughs> That just popped their ass open. <laughs> as soon as I press this big red button. Now what are you gonna say? Huh? What? You have a pit boy? Yep. Wait. Are you Voltec? Have you finally come to save me? Not Please. exactly. I'm trapped behind a mountain of rubble. The key to freeing me is getting the workshop operational. First, lift the security lockdown and get to the reactor room. Better living underground. Okay, this will be a start of something I never looked at. Jump that. <laughs> It's been hard to maintain the faith. So many ah, years. Ah, ah. Why the You can The great work is ready to begin. The great walk, what great walk? A great walk. And where did the ashes go? Oh, that makes sense. Ashes do fall. Oh! Ah! Stay away! Stay away, you vile creatures! Oh no. I don't have... Oh no. Uh -oh. I don't know where he went. Take Pip Boy Queen? Okay. Pip Boy added. Why was a Pip Boy at it? What was Pip Boys for? 
Deacon, I have a pit boy. Hey, what's mine is yours, pal. Can you bear the pit boy? No. Pip boy, p p p. What oh, the pip boy? No, 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 not pip Phil. Pip boy. Ah. Interesting. Well then, this have been Fallout Four. And in the next video, we will explore more about this fault. And there are just tons of pit boys everywhere. Interesting. Well, I hope you all had a good day, night, whenever you're watching this. And as always, goodbye!